So this is the Cabana Bay Beach Resort. We'll do a room tour later because we're going on an adventure. So before we made our way back to the shy, we spent a couple days in Florida after the cruise. The razzle-dazzle for this trip was Universal Studios. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there are a lot of videos on how to walk to the water taxi to get to Universal Studios, which is free by the way. However, we were not in the main building, so we would have had to walk through five or six buildings to reach the front of Cabana Bay, which led us to find an alternate route to get to the water, taxi, ferry, I don't know the formal name. So the walk from the main entrance would have been about five minutes, but like I said, it took us about 15 because we ended up going a different route because of how far we were from the entrance, but I digress. The water taxi, we just gonna call it that, was free. I um, mean, it was about a five minute ride, which sucked because it was hot as hell and I wanted at least 10 minutes to rest after walking 15 minutes in that crazy heat. Once we got our tickets, we were good to go. Side note, I don't know if it's the time of day we went, but it was virtually no lines for the rides and wait times were super duper minimal. So we started out light at Seuss Landing. The plan was to get all the short line rides out of the way. This was also before we realized all the lines would be short. I would have been pissed if I paid for an express pass because it was no real wait. The whole time we maybe waited 15 minutes max to get on a ride. Y'all, my brother was born to be an uncle and he loves doing things with my son. So we were not surprised at all that he wanted to ride with Aiden. When I tell you that it was at least 97 degrees outside, so I don't know how much they paid him to put on those costumes, but uh, it ain't enough. I did enjoy this ride that was above the merry-go-round because you got to see a large part of the park. Many rides said no recording, and I myself am a law-abiding citizen, so I didn't even try to sneak in footage because I ain't want nobody saying nothing to me. Now this was the ride that had my son pissed off at us the remainder of our time at Universal. Y'all this ride was so damn fast and had the nerve to be a long ride also. Every time I thought it was over, it indeed was not. Now this ride only me and my brother got on and I felt played because that fall felt real different and I ain't like that at all. I ain't like it at all. I was screaming so bad y'all the people was getting off the ride laughing at me talking about we heard you screaming. Yeah, I bet you did. Toon Lagoon was our next stop after the Hulk. I believe this was where the Spider-Man ride was. Being transparent, y'all, I didn't charge my phone the day before, so I had to be picky as to what I recorded because I was at Universal Studios with a 39% phone battery. But this Samsung did what it needed to do. Now this damn ride should not be taken lightly. When they say you will be soaking wet, they lie. I had to wring my socks out and sit my shoes out when we got back because they were that damn wet. They had a real cute ride that was just for kids, but parents could ride if the kids were too small to ride along, which I thought was cool. When I tell you the roller coasters were cool, but the virtual rides were everything to me. This ride was amazing, but it's not even in my top two, which says a lot. So we're like five hours in at this point, and we finally made it to Hogsmeade, y'all, and it felt magical. Now the Harry Potter ride was my absolute favorite out of every single ride that they had there. You really felt like you were on a for real mission with them. They, 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 they really did the damn thing with that one. Y'all, we got on all the rides except two, which was the Velocity and a baby roller coaster that was by the Harry Potter ride because it started to drizzle, so they said no one could get on. So we are leaving Universal, y'all see my hair. It was a time, boy, we had a time today. So we're gonna do a quick room tour. Again, I have my wonderful son um, doing the recording. So first things first, as you see, this is the front door. We have a closet over here, and it's just like a typical closet with like a little safe and all of that. So then when you turn around, we get the beautiful, beautiful view of Volcano Bay. 
as well as the front room area. So we have, it does have a TV with like basic cable. And then we have the couch. This couch lets out to a full, I believe. And then this couch lets out to a twin. So this is the front room area. Do a quick spin. We also have a little kitchenette area that comes with a microwave. This is all the food that we ate over the couple days. So I'll do a quick spin. We have a little eating area right there. Nice little wall art. The theme of this hotel, Cabana Bay Beach Resort, is like a 80s type vibe, but it's still modernized. So now I'm gonna... So this place has two bathrooms. So this is the first bathroom, just a typical bathroom. Has a trash can, sink, mirror, toilet, and then if you come in, and then on the back is a full-size mirror there. This is the first bathroom, it's a half bathroom. Now the second bathroom that we have is here. And this second bathroom is just a tub and a shower. At first, I was skeptical about it being just a tub and a shower because it's like, why wouldn't it be another full bathroom? It also has like little soaps and stuff. We had our own, so we didn't use that. But in hindsight, it works because if it's a large group of people, there's somebody that just has to use the bathroom, they can use the bathroom while people can also be in the shower. So come on, let's go to the next bathroom. So this is the next bathroom. This is a full bathroom with a mirror. Also has a walk-in and shower. And then you have um, just the basic doors, no mirror on the back of the door. So nice full mirror right here. So this is the only full bathroom that they have. So if you come this way, this is one of the bedrooms. Again, you guys, we are just checking out. So we've been in these beds and everything already. These beds are full size beds. They have nice artwork on the walls and things like that. A nice little eating area. And then if you come this way, each room has a TV. You get a nice view of the rest of Cabana Bay um, Beach Resort as well as like the pool and the lazy river and things like that. So come on you guys, we'll go to the last room. And so this is the last room. This is also a full size bed. And the beautiful thing about this is when you're in the bed, you get a beautiful view of Volcano Bay. I believe I already put video in of the volcano at night. If not, I'll insert them somewhere up in here. Gorgeous view. And it turns different colors. So you guys, that is the room tour for Cabana Bay Beach Resort. This is a lovely resort, lovely staff, great food area and all of that. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. If you have a family, this is gonna be a more budget friendly room as opposed to getting two separate rooms. You might wanna go in for the suite. Um, we are on the seventh floor as you guys saw. So I really, really enjoyed um, our stay here and it was just wonderful. Please come back and visit us again very soon. So later.